what's up guys as you guys know i converted one of my long dead xrs actually into a vest board about a month ago i used a flip sky 75 100 vest upgraded slim aluminum version this particular board has no integrated bluetooth nor imu so you actually have to install them separately using ur ports good thing is this way you can find the imu's default orientation physically and also soft mount it or utilize the extra pins on its breakout board if needed. The Bluetooth is, is actually made for eSkate remotes. Understandably, these modules must be reliable. The range is solid, has steady connections even from 15 meters away. It is FlipSky branded, and if you want, you can find it on their web shop. The vest control itself has been tested in a lot of different weather conditions. Typically, it was around 35 degrees Celsius during with the sun shining down on us for hours without end and we never encountered any sort of overheating issues whatsoever however that's actually thanks to the extra heat sink on the controller many other best builds have no lead lights in them however i knew in this board i wanted to make sure i had it it is a wi-fi based controller so you can connect the lead controller via using an ip address in any web browser this way you can set any colors or choose between different programs on the lead strip the output current of this vest board is 100 amps and the burst current is set to 120 a max. Some find this number a bit too low, however, in my experience it is plenty for a 15S2P configuration which this board has at the moment. I was able to comfortably ride at 35 kilometers an hour with field weakening enabled on a smooth road which is plenty for me typically. Do note, I'm not a pro rider by any means, so I can't say for 100% that this build is sufficient for everyone out there. One of the things I appreciate with this vest board is the fact that I can tinker with my board on a moment's notice and spend some time fine tuning it, even when I'm just out cruising around, riding around. There's a point where you really don't want to play with the settings anymore and just enjoy your ride, as what I feel a lot of people get caught up in that it's never gonna be perfect, it's never gonna be just right, but that's the fun side of asking is you always get to set it your way and everybody can fully adapt it to their specific riding profile. This board is an incredible city shredder. Um, only thing which we've encountered, uh, which seems to be an issue at the moment is the nose dipping on very specific types of terrain. One of them which we found was cobblestones, however, the dip is subtle in general. It's not gonna throw you off. The board is not gonna cut out on you. Um, we do believe this will be solved in a relatively short amount of time. There's a lot of highly skilled people in the community who are dedicated daily uh, to make the secret sauce happen for all of us. Shout out to guys Dado Mista, Mitch Lustig, Hannes, AKA Westman, Chris Passy and everyone else in the community doing their part and sharing their knowledge on social media and so on. The range near identical to that of an XR, a stock XR, if you use the same parts and obviously keep in mind that rider profile can make a big difference in your battery's life. If you ride aggressive, keep in mind your, your battery level will obviously die quicker. FM code is undeniably sweet, as great as one wheel's secret sauce is. It's underpowered and held back big time. The boards are capable of much more. Once the community finds out the right recipe for a vest, there's really no going back. Overall, I really have a good experience with Flip Sky Vesk. Their hardware is good. It's modular, sleek looking, well performing. And in my experience, after over 500 kilometers of riding in about a six week period, in different scenarios, I can say it's fully trustworthy. Would like to see more Flip Sky controllers getting tailored to work with the one wheel in the future, as they see that the community is enthusiastic about it. Um, maybe, for example, higher output currents, integrated IMU, and sort of the beefy Bluetooth ports for LED and more UAR ports. Maybe even better cooling and more mounting points, but all that's to come. So. Stay tuned and follow the guys and let's make this community awesome. Vescon.